Everybody. My name is Hal. This is Quail Studios Guitar. <coughs> I'm going to change something here so I can hear a little better. Thanks for coming. Today we're going to talk about If, Bread, that's the band name. David Gates wrote If, and it's a fantastic song, don't you agree? Let's see who's here. We got Dwayne. Dwayne says, a great song to play. Can't wait for this to begin. And uh, let's see. Bob's here. And Deborah Noel is here. Fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. Dwayne, it's glad, I'm glad to have you here. Albert, hello. We are doing well. Hey, Albert. Uh, just a thought. My son is in Berlin. He's doing something over there. I don't know. He's at, at a conference or something. <laughs> Belfast. Dufermond or Dufermond. I don't know how to say your name. Welcome. Fantastic. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through these chords, but I'll tell you, this is not... I hope this isn't a disappointment to you all, but this is not the key that David Gates plays it in because he plays it in uh, the key of A. If a, if, a, if a picture paints a thousand words, doo -doo 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 -doo, and it's very high, especially that last note, it's a high A right there. Well, you know what? My voice uh, doesn't like to float up there all the time, so I'm gonna do it a little lower. I'm going to do it in the key of E. And I'm using my classical guitar today because it's just a really great guitar to use. I'm gonna put the chords on the screen. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to start out with this chord right here. It's an E chord. If the picture paints. You know what? One thing that was happening is that as I was doing some research on this particular song, I found David Gates and Glenn Campbell singing a medley and it was uh, on television or something like that. I don't know what show it was on or what, but uh, it was really interesting. And then I found a recording of Glenn Campbell playing If, I think it was on uh, The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, and he had a uh, an ovation guitar, which has a plastic back to it, and they put a mic on him and you could hardly hear the guitar, but. Glenn Campbell's voice is fantastic and amazing. And he played it in the key of F. If your picture paints a thousand words. And he did a great job on it. It was really, really good. But he did change some of the chords. And I was thinking, you know, I, I can't sing it up there where David Gates do, does. And so I think what I'll do is try some different ideas. And so I tried it in the key of E. And I hope you don't mind because I love this key because the, the highest note is an E right there at the end and I can do it pretty well uh, when my voice is warmed up but <laughs> here's my first chord all right let me know if you can't see it or uh, by the way give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing here and subscribe if you've never been here before and you like these kind of videos so here we go one thing you can do is you can just strum no, it's one, two, three, four. There's four beats in a chord. One, two, three, four. And what David Gates does is he does something like an alternate picking where... And uh, Bob says, I'll play it in E with a capo on the seventh fret. You can do that. If you, uh, let's see. Let me see, capo on the seventh fret. Note is that that's a B note that's too high that's too high you, if you want to play it with David Gates you want to play it with the capo on the fifth fret that'll be the the key of A that, that David plays it in and that 
that's what I'm going to do. But we're going to do it down in E with a no capo. For those of you who don't have a capo yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play I'm going to play the D string and then I'm going to go up to the B string and come back to the G string and then the E string and then play B G B G Keith Hendrickson says David Gates and Leon Russell both attended my high school are you serious that's amazing <laughs> love his music Bob says I'll teach it to you with his fingering with the capo later oh okay that's fine yeah, yeah. Um, I, I love, actually, I love David Gates, uh, the way he does it. You know, it's like... I don't I remember what the picking pattern is, but... Something like that. But it's beautiful. He doesn't use a capo, but I love the way he does it. Anyway... If a picture paints a thousand words The next chord is this one right here E with a D-sharp bass And that's what I do. I just bring this middle finger, this second finger down one fret so you got first fret, first fret, open, open and then down to E7 with a D bass and then one more chord and we'll go back and show you what we're doing oops A with a C sharp bass like that so let's go back and play it again so I'm going to play E E with a D sharp bass E7 with a D bass and then A with a C sharp bass like that I'm going to take those off and show you how that how I do that something like that and so the words would go if a picture paints a thousand words then why can I paint you the words would never next chord let's look at the next chord which will be an A minor chord with a C bass. So what we're getting here is we're getting this I think it's a uh, So these notes are going Those are the bass notes. So it's like Oops, sorry. A minor with a C bass. And then the next chord, the E with the B bass, like that. See the X on the E string? You don't want to play the E string. And then it goes to A minor. And then the next chord is B7. Now if you wanted to, you could just play up and down like this. Like that. And that'll work too. straight up like that. Of course you understand that when I'm doing this I'm going up to the higher notes. Right? Okay. Very good. Let's see. Dean says Steven Spielberg and Linda Carter both attended my high school. <laughs> Neither of them gave me the time of day. <laughs> yeah, just one up one another in the comments. That's great. I love it when you guys make uh, make comments down there. Okay, so that's what we do. So let's see, let's take this off the screen just for a second. If a picture paints a thousand words, then why can't I paint you? A with a C sharp bass, and then A minor with a C bass. The words will never. E with a B bass, show. A minor, the you have come to know. B7. And then the next verse is exactly the same. 
If a phase could launch a thousand ships, then where am I to go? A minor with a C bass coming up. There's no one home but you. E with a B bass. And you know, you'll notice that I'm doing something different there. Something like that. You can do that kind of thing. It's really great. I love it when it goes over, back, up, and back, up, and back, and then from the high strings down lower. Let's see. You're all, let's say A minor. You're all that's left me to. Now we do the next part, which is, is it a bridge? Look at these chords really quick here. And when my life, love for life. Okay, so we've got the C minor, C sharp minor. I'm only playing the four inside strings, like that. You know what, I'm gonna check my tuning because my tuning sounds weird. Something's wrong with it. Give me just a second here. I think it's getting warmer in here. When my, uh, when my guitar warms up, the neck stretches a little bit and my strings go sharp. There we go, that's better. Let's see. And when, and, and when, and when my love, C augmented. B flat minor seven flat five. Dry. He's actually singing a C sharp, F sharp, if he was in this key, but there's no F sharp in this chord. Dry. And then the next chord is G sharp minor. You come. And then going to a C sharp and pull. And then F sharp minor yourself and then on me you can do a B or a B7 I like the B7 a lot and then we go back to a, a verse right which is that E chord again if a man could be to places at one time I'd be A minor with a C bass. This one's, you know what you can do right there with that A with a C sharp bass? Let me put that back on the screen here and show you. That one right there. You can just, I like to play it with my pinky. I haven't gotten used to this yet. Because when I go to the next chord, the A minor with a C bass, then I'll just go down one fret with my pinky, with my fourth finger. See that? So I'll go, and then right there, I'd spend the end, no, that's not it, tomorrow and today, E with a B bass, <coughs> and then A minor, beside you all the way, A B7, and then we do one more verse. I'm going to take those off again. If the world should stop revolving, spinning slowly down to die. A with a C sharp bass. A minor with a C bass. I'd spend the end with you. E with a B bass. And when, let's see, A minor. The world is through. And then we go back to the bridge again. That C sharp minor. Then one by one. Now this is the same thing. You know, you've got this bass line that goes down one fret. It's really, really wonderful. Then one by one. Right? And then 
C with an augmented, and then an E with a B bass. The stars would all go out. Now this uh, B minor 7 flat 5, it's also, you can call it a, a half diminished 7th chord. A B flat half diminished 7th. It's the same thing. A lot of jazz players call it a B minor 7 flat 5. You know what's interesting about this minor 7 flat 5 chord? Is that when you move it around, it's the same chord. I'm only playing the four inside strings. Right? And the name of the chord comes off that A string right there. So if you're on D, that's a D minor 7 flat 5. If you're on C, it's C minor 7 flat 5. B, B minor 7 flat 5. B flat minor 7 flat 5. That's a really cool, cool chord. It's, you know, anytime you have a bar chord like that, you can move it around. And those are on the four inside strings. So your root note is on that A string. All right, let's get back to the song. We stopped right there. Let's go back. Then, then one. augmented the stars would all go out and G sharp minor and I oh you know what I think I think I forgot to put the uh, would simply no this is right simply B7 Away. Now it'll be an E chord, but I'm going to show you the ending that I've got for this. This is kind of cool because this is based on David Gates on his uh, let's see just like that. This is um, like almost exactly what he does at the end on the, re on the original recording. Only we're in this key, we're in the key of E. I'm playing that first measure right there that you can see on the screen. Open, four, hammer onto six, four on the G string, and then we got a pull off from uh, D string, six to four. Back to that fourth fret on the G string, and then we have to play that six again on the D string. And then we go down, and that's that's the second measure right there. Okay, and then the next chord is this one. It's actually a, um, an A minor chord with an E bass, and then I've got an E chord at the end, and then I've got the four five, seven seven and then the 12-12, just like that. So that's my ending that I came up with. Oops. Let's see what's my next one. And that's the end, right there. That's the whole song. I will put this in my book it will come out in, oh, today's the 14th. It's supposed to come out tomorrow. I hope I can do it. I think I can. <laughs> I've got the lyrics right here. Oops, let's take that off the screen. I've got the lyrics right here. You'll see that there's no chords on them yet, but I'm going to put chords on them so that uh, it'll go in my book. And those of you who are signed up, as supporters, either at Patreon or Subscribestar or are on my email list because you've donated at uh, PayPal, then you will get an email or a post, depending on where you are, with the link to my new version of the book. It's the September version, 2023 version of the book. And if you don't know how to do that, just look in the description of this video and you can see exactly uh, how to get the book. You're welcome, Bob. Thanks for being here. Are there any questions or anything that I can uh, 
answer at this moment. I really appreciate Dwayne being here and Albert. Hello, Albert. It's so good to see you. It's wonderful to hear someone who can play the song well. Well, thank you. I, I hope that I can play the song well. You know what? I haven't practiced very much, honestly. Um, so I need to practice some more, especially that going from uh, that A with a C-sharp bass to the A minor with a C bass. I really need some practice on that. And I kept forgetting to go from uh, B to A minor, B7, what is that? E with a B bass to A minor. I kept forgetting to do that when I was practicing at first. So really just you need to go through it and really uh, solidify that when you're playing. Dwayne says, I've learned quite a bit too. These chords will be a challenge. You think so? Well, they will be in my book. I was wondering, let me ask this question for those of you who get my book. Would it be helpful for me to do, instead of just, you know, the chord symbols on the lead sheet, would it be helpful to do a page where I have just the chords? Now, I've done this a couple of times in my book where I'll have a page just with the chords on it, just like you saw, you know, here. So you see, like, these chords like that, just like that. You know, when I used to get books uh, when I was younger, they had these chord symbols at the top. And they were very helpful to me because I could memorize them that way, the way they looked. Uh, so let me know if you think that would be a good thing to have. I can make them available to you. And tell you what, for those of you who want this, even if you're not signed up as a supporter, hello, Peter. Hey, it's good to see you. Hi, everybody. A bit late, Peter says. That's okay. We still love you. So if you want these chords, tell you what, I will put... Uh, the chords on a on a sheet for you either one or two sheets depending on how many I need I could probably get it on one if I make them small enough and uh, just put them in the description of this video so if you're getting this let's say tomorrow or something today is September 14th 2023 Keith Hendrickson says yes absolutely helps to have the chords with the music very good yeah um Okay, I'll do that. I will make sure that the chords are, are there. Very good. I don't think I have anything else. Anybody have any questions? I appreciate you telling me what you want because that's always a good thing. I will post them in the description of this video uh, when I get them done, probably in a day or two. I've got a lot of things going on. Yeah. And I'm going to go hang out with my supporters. Uh, several people who are here are probably going to be there. If you're not a supporter yet, look in the description and you can figure out how to do that. And you can come and hang out with us and ask questions and you can even get some, uh, uh, I guess you could say a free lesson, but it's not really free, is it? Because if you support me, then you give me a little something. And uh, I try to give something back to my, uh, to my supporters and to all of you, even if you can't financially give very much or something. Dwayne, you're welcome. Welcome to have you here. All right. I'm going to go, and uh, here's my outro. Right? And that's the outro. You're welcome, Albert. It's good to see you. 